Hello YouTube, time for a video again. Well, what we're going to do today, we'll just have a look at some of the uh, some of the older fish. No change, no changes. We're not looking at the projects of the growing on the fry and uh, getting new breeding pairs. We'll have a, we'll take a look at some of the uh, the well-established fish. What I've had here, so you all know them. So we're just going to have a like a recap on them. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Right, this is it. This is Crazy Joe. This is a 20 inch Umbi, Umbrifium. Last time, last time I did a vid video, someone requested, how come we had to film Crazy Joe? So like today, we're doing Crazy Joe. We'll give him some earthworms in a, in a while. Like, uh, the filming ain't gonna be so good today. Can you see the glare, the reflection in my windows and that? We're in the middle of summertime. No, not summertime, but spring, that is rubbish video. Uh, springtime, so we've got a lot of light in here and I can't uh, cut the light down. So uh, we better get on this one, let's give him some food. Come on, Joe, get out of the way of that glare. And he's come out of the glare. So like he's a, tw a 20 inch umby. I think, I don't know, I, I've, I've, I lose count. He must be about seven or eight year old now. And to be honest, I don't think he's as healthy as what he used to be. But he's still, he's still uh, a character. And we love him. So we'll uh, look after him. Anyway, shut up waffling. You're already waffling. Let's get on it. Give him some grub. Right, today what we're going to feed him... He's uh, earthworms, his favourite. So, uh, come on, come on, Crazy Joe. Get that worm down, you mate. Look at that great big gob, eh? So, uh, what I'm doing now is feeding him more on worms and uh, worms and things like cod and that. I'm trying to stir away from uh, the mussels and prawns with the theramines in it. Because uh, that's the, I'm not blaming myself because he's not quite so healthy as he used to be. Have I overfed? Come on, Joe, get one of these worms, mate. He loves his worms. You can't go wrong with a juicy worm. Come on. There it goes. Look, look at that. Whoa, it's, there it goes, love. No, I didn't get it. Didn't you get that one? No, I didn't. Let him munch that one up. We'll get another one on. Yeah, theramines. Theramar from uh, like a uh, feeding goldfish and uh, sh uh, shellfish, mussels, prawns, all that sort of stuff. I'm sticking with earthworms and things like, you're all right with tilapia. Yeah, like you're okay with tilapia and cod with, uh, don't do goldfish for God's sake, with uh, low theramines. They get vitamin, Vitamin 1 deficiency, but you can't go wrong with a good old earthworm. But what I've got, I'm going to apologise about all the glare and that. I'm doing my best. Like, Crazy Joe, it's not as healthy as what he was when he's an old boy. But is, is that my fault or is it not? But I'll try my best. Come on, Joe. There it goes. He loves the earthworms. You, uh, the best thing is like uh, pellets. You want to feed them on pellets and like insects, like uh, crickets and uh, worms and that. They're the best food for these sort of fish. I'll give him one more because you're on YouTube, mate. You normally, I normally have to give you, look at that, look. Normally I have to give you pellets. There he goes. He's got a lovely big gob. But his uh, tummy... It's not as fat as I'd like it to be. He eats a lot, but uh, it's not as fat as I'd like him to be. Anyway, uh, 
I think we ought to move on to another tank and we'll have another look at uh, another monster fish. Right, it's time to give Wolfie some food now. Look, he's looking up. He knows it's that time of day, isn't it? I always feed him in the evening time, but he's uh, he's as healthy as uh, he's as healthy as can be. But I'm cutting back on his uh, mus shellfish. I'm cutting back on the shellfish for him as well. About these uh, theramines. Vitamin B defeat, vitamin, vitamin B1 deficiency. So I'm getting paranoid on it now. I've read a few articles. But look at it. He's looking up at that. Hey, mate, stop looking up there. Anyway, I'm waffling on a lot. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hand the, the uh, camera, my phone, over to the missus, and I'm going to give him some cod and earthworms. All right, Wolfie. Do you want some... He knows it's dinner time. He's still, still aggressive. But he keeps looking up in that corner. Because that's where the tucker comes in. Look at him. He's looking for... Why are you giggling, that woman? They don't know what you mean, tucker. They know what tucker means. Most of the people who uh, watch my videos are either Americans and Australians. And I get quite a few English people. We all know what tucker is, don't we? Shut up, Waffling Woods, and let's get the, let's get the food in. Right, here we go. That's a, a cod. It gets fed better than me. Bit of nice bit of cod. That's what we have from our fish and chip shops. Without the butter. Without the, we have, I have a batter on love, Nobody I like ain't. it. He ain't got no, uh, <laughs> of course he ain't. There we go, look, come on, Wolfie. Another bit of, uh, cod with no batter on. Not from the fish and chip shop. It's from, uh, Asda's. Frozen, uh, I want the female to get some. He's, he's, he's whooping it all. Let, let him uh, munch that down. It's going to take it's him a for It's going to take some. But I'll put this worm there. Go on, get. Yes, yes. she got the, uh, the worms. She, she's, got, she, <laughs> she's got the worm. Anyway, like. Now I could, normally, when I feed these, I'll sit here for half an hour and feeding them. But, uh. Were you lot watching me on YouTube? I had to, uh. Look at him. Do, do you like a worm? I bet you're not even at that piece of cod yet, are you? Let's get, see if the missus gets it first. Now, it, it's, it's, getting, it's getting full. Lucy ain't going to jump out and bite me. Did you see my video from last year when he bloody jumped out and bit me? Splashed the carpet. Go on, missus. Anyway, just film me munching them up, love. Is that it? You can tell when it, when he bloke, they were still crunching. Look at his mouth. There. Now, when he's crunching, and then when they've crunched it all up, they blow back. Look, she, 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 he's still munching that, so I can give her a piece. Quick, get that one in before he comes. There, that's it. Anyway, I'm waffling on. He's not going to get no uh, vitamin B deficiency with earthworms and cod. And you can do tilapia. But I'm not a scientist. I'm not a scientist. You, you best do your own research on all that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, do your own research and make your own uh, minds up. There's no fry left in this tank now. I've caught all the fry out of the tank, and they're now with my red dove eyes, trying to get a mixed pair. Anyway, time to move on to another tank. Right, I'm here, I'm now at the uh, Red Devil Botox the Maniac. Botox from Maniac and his uh, tank mate, this uh, female Dovi, which is absolutely gorgeous. She's a daughter of uh, 
Mrs. Mrs. Wolfie, the one we said just earlier. But to be honest, I think she's she's got more colours than that than her, her mother. She's absolutely stunner. So uh, this is Botox. Look at them rubbery lips. Show us your rubbery lips, mate. Anyway, we'll, we'll give these some food and we'll have a little chitty chatty, chitty chat and waffle. Do you like waffling? I talk a load of shit, don't I? Anyway, uh, look at that big cave. Talking about big caves, I've got something to show you. Something I picked up earlier this week. Look at her lip. Her spawning tube's been down this week, and I think they've been scrapping. Anyway, stop waffling onwards. Let's get some food in for these. Right, before we get the food in, I just want to show you these. Like, these are what I picked up uh, from the reclaims the other day. Like, these are like uh, nice big terracotta pots, really ancient. The 12 inches... Uh, Long, the openings, it's got to be about eight inches. They're absolutely brilliant for fish keepers. These were uh, put online from the reclaims yard to be sold for growing plants. Who wants to grow a plant in that, mate? You don't want to grow a plant in that. The best thing is they've got, let's look at this, a flat bottom. That is absolutely brilliant for me. A flat bottom, so uh, it doesn't roll about. So uh, I, I normally put these big pipes in and block the entrance up, block the entrance up, so uh, females can go in there and hide, and males can't. You put two together, the 12 inches, put two together, it's about two foot long, about nine inches tall, with a flat bottom. Tell you what, this is the only time I'd like a flat bottom. Don't tell the missus that lot. I like a round bottom. You like a round bottom. <laughs> a flat bottom. We always got <laughs> what, all this bottom stuff. Yeah, like today, I like a flat bottom when normally you like a big round booty. Anyway, sure a waffling woods. Let's go inside and talk about. The uh, feeding and the Botox. Yeah, now you can probably see what I mean. These pipes, they're two 12, feet, 12 inch pipes. Them pipes are exactly the same, but they have uh, got a curvy bottom. Oh, you can't be a curvy bottom, can you? But as far as uh, <laughs> pipes go for fish keeping, you probably want a flat bottom. Look at them two, look, they, there I am talking about bottoms, and all they want is the food. Let's get some tucker in the tank. Right, Botox can have his pellets. Because he's not a carnivore. He's not a carnivore at all. And I'm going to move across and try to uh, give her something a little bit more meaty. Come across here, girl. Now, she, she got that earthworm. You probably never see it. I, I'm struggling now because, the, uh, the, like I said, the missus is watching Coronation Street, probably Simon Cowell, X Factor and all that garbage. This is when I like looking at me fish. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you got to uh, feed your fish the food what they, you, uh, they need. So, like, uh, like the predator fish... Like her, uh, probably something like peacock bass. I think the only cichlids what are really top predators, like jags, uh, you know, your peacock bass and uh, dovies and all them sort of things. But like uh, the amps, they're not predators at all. What really, that's, that's one thing that winds me up. I, I like watch a lot of YouTube videos. And uh, someone will say, this is my uh, 125, 200 gallon predator tank. And they've got Jack Dempsey's and uh, Midas 
red devils. They're not predators. That is not a predator tank. Do not feed them on uh, too much meaty food. You'll have problems down the line. Down the line. Especially long term. Most people will probably only keep these fish three or four years. But if you want to keep one for like 8, 10, 12, 15 years, you've got to give it the uh, correct diet. And I'll tell you now, my ass, Texas, all the amps, always oh, giving her some jip. Anyway, all the amps, they're not predators. Look at them, look. She's gone in a ref. That, that was a good example. Excellent example of my uh, good find today. My, uh, like, like, caves. If I made, if I could produce them caves, I could sell them online. Anyway, Woods, you are Chief Waffler. Shut up waffling and let's move on. Right, I'm trying to film some of my uh, oldest established fish, but you don't see very often. So this is a uh, Tank Machancho. He is absolutely, uh, he's one of my biggest fish. Apart from the uh, Dovi and, uh, not, yeah, the Dovi and the uh, Umbi. He's a monster. But uh, it's so thick. So, like, if you had a, look, at, can you see him when he gets his head down? I'll put some sinking food in. Let him get his head down. He's so thick. If you have a... Uh, He's about, I'd say he's about 15 inches. If you've got a 15 inch Dovi or a 15 inch Umbi, I'll say a Chancho is bigger. As in weight, girth and chunkiness. So he, he's, he's just waiting there. So that I can't keep any fish with him apart from cunning fish. The only fish I can keep with him is a uh, convicts or convicts or juvenile juvenile dovies, the most uh, cunning fish, in, cunning cichlids on the planet, in my opinion, and my opinion only. Dovies are absolutely uh, the masters of uh, survival. And so are convicts. Anyway, should a waffling woods tank? Let's let's give him some food. Let's get some tucker in there, mate. You can't catch them convicts, can you? I think he's given up. But they're not a threat to him, so he's not bothered. But he can be an uh, aggressive fish. I sold his female. Uh, many, many, many moons ago. I just want a peaceful tank and grow him into a, a lovely, lovely, lovely big specimen. But he's looking up at the surface. He wants his food. I better get some in, Anna. Right, 99% of the time, I normally give him pellets, but today he's having a big juicy worm. Well, so I'm doing this, look at him, trying to jump out. There he goes. He's going to love that worm. The only problem is these convicts are not getting out because what, what normally happens is he crunches uh, massive, massive gobfuls of uh, pellets and they get the crumbs. Anyway, let him munch that one down. We'll, we'll chuck another one in. Right, is it that one? Let's get another one in. Can you see that? Come on, uh, Tank. Sorry about the uh, rubbish photography. Let's get it in. There it goes, look. Get it in, boy. God, he's, he's a greedy gutsy, he is. He, he's the bit... 
uh, a chancho. Amphalophus chancho. Well, let's talk a bit more sensible there. Amphalophus chancho, the biggest Amphalophus species. Uh, you got your. Uh, there's loads of Amphalophus species. Uh, Labiatum, uh, uh, Red Devils, and the uh, uh, Citronellum, and all the other ones like that. But, but uh, the biggest one, apparently, is a chancho. But he's got no pretty colours like some people like. But he, he's built like a uh, a brick shit house. Anyway, uh, let's give him another worm, and maybe put some pellets in for these uh, convicts. His tank mates, the only tank mate for a chancho. Right, I think I've spent too long on this tank. So, like, I'll, I'll just chuck a few little pellets in here, like... I normally spend uh, a lot of time feeding the fish, so, like, so everybody gets some. And, uh let's chuck some little pellets in here. But he's getting the old bloody lot in here, like... That's what I say. But the convicts are... They, 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 uh They get plenty. So, like, I can't, uh Take too much time. I'm waffling on, ain't I? I, I take too much time trying to show you what I do. Like, I, I can spend hours feeding my fish. Anyway, short of waffling woods, let's move on. Look at the size of his back. I put a saddle on it. We could have a ride on his back like a dolphin. Right, there's no change in this tank. I shan't be feeding these at the minute. Do you know what? This is the most aggressive fish I've got. Now, you've seen what Wolfie probably jump out the tank and bite me and all this sort of thing. And all, all the fish have got their own character. But this is a, my a barrel. 13, 14 inch Jaguar cichlid. This is the tank... But I hate cleaning. I hate cleaning it. And my missus says, you've got to clean that tank. It's The glass is looking dirty. But you put your hand in there. I'll tell you what, you put your hand in there. He absolutely, he, he absolutely uh, goes mental on your uh, hand and biting. Anyway, we'll do a vi I'll do a video on that later. That, that'll make an interesting video, won't it? Cleaning a Jaguar tank out. But he is a, a mental, mental, mental Jaguar. Anyway, let's have, move on and have a look at another fish. Right, this is Morris, my orange mired ass. And he, he won't come away from that pipe. The, the female's underneath there and he spends ages just sat there looking. Uh, he wants her to come out and do some spawning activities, but uh, she's probably not quite up for it. Oi, Morris! Yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to move a bit quicker now and get this one. In fact, let's. I think it's time to wrap this video up. I've been going on too long. We'll just have a quick look at Wild Warrior. There he goes, look. She's in there, but she's not ready to come out. She's not ready for spawning yet. So uh, we'll have a quick look at. Uh, Wild Warrior, we'll see you later another day. Look at his uh, blunt face. You can tell that's a Midas face. Looks like it's run into a brick wall and squashed its face. You, you look at his lips compared to Botox. Yeah, he's got a, a flat a flat face opposed to the uh, Red Devil's pointed face. Anyway, let's uh, move around. Right, this is Wild Warrior, you've all seen him before, he's about 13 inch Umbi, son of Crazy Joe, he's, he's not looking at his best, he's uh, looking after these fry and the female, she's across here, they haven't been, get, they haven't been getting on too well, but she hides in, in there, so I'm, I'm, I ought to put one of them new pot, pots what I picked up the other day, which I was showing you at the beginning of the video, I might stick one of them in here, an extra hiding place. Anyway, uh, it's time to wrap this one up. Like I say, I'll, I'll go on too long. And we'll, I've, I have, I've got loads more fish to film. I'll try to do ones I've missed. I'll try to get them on my next video. The flower horn, 
we need to see stroppy. So, uh, thank you for watching. Hope it hasn't been too long and drawn out. Until next time, say, stay safe. Happy fish keeping to you all. Chirah.